The BB girl is confident, sexy. She knows what she wants. You know, she's not scared to stand out in a crowd. She is the girlfriend that has this aura that just attracts people. The BB girl knows fashion and she's loyal to us as long as we cater to her what she's looking for. So the BB brand um, started really in the late 70s and um, by, by the 90s, uh, having a couple of stores, they really started to stand for like the more power suit. In the 80s, the women, you know, got to the workforce. Um, really got more important jobs and started to, you know, really wanting to dress the part. Melrose Place, Ally McBeal. The women on there were actually wearing BB. They had like a power jacket with a short skirt and it really was changing, you know, the whole environment. You know, we were showing legs, high heels, and all of a sudden we really took over the workplace. We weren't really following anyone. Um, if the whole mall was doing polka dots, we would be doing leopards. So. We always was just doing the right thing and it was like a really great time and she knew that if she needed the, the right outfit, she would come to us. I knew when I was seven that I wanted to be a designer. I had a grandma who would sew um, for third world countries school uniforms and taught me when I was seven to sew my own clothes, dye my own fabrics and it was never a question. I graduated from the Academy of Arts and Fashion um, named Montaigne in Amsterdam. My best friend had a great idea to start a, making some boards. So we took off with one suitcase each and um, I've been here 19 years. I um, worked at um, Laundry by Shelley Siegel and um, then went to Arden B. And from Arden B got recruited to work at BB. I worked here till 2009 left for four years, um, did my own thing for a while, uh, lost some dear people in my life, so I had to rethink some things until I got a phone call at the beginning of this year um, by the founder of the company, basically saying, please, you know, reconsider, come back. I rejoined BB as the EVP of design. I inherited the design team. Um, and initially that, you know, you really have to kind of see, are you going to work well together or not? And um, I quickly realized we had some very talented designers on our team. There's people that indeed have come from just being an assistant and now, you know, have learned the ropes here and are an amazing designer to people that have always worked in Europe at like big design houses and, you know, are loving our BB girl and are really happy to be a designer for her. The best part of my team in the end is they make me look really good. They do such an amazing job. So for us to really, um, you know, have an image that we are the cool and hip brands, you know, we couldn't do it without the best marketing. I feel there is bigger and better things ahead of this brand that, you know, are going to really be outrageously great. I think our motto has never changed. We always design clothing for confident and sexy women. And so, you know, that's what we're still doing today. We're just, you know, being loyal to her, trying to, you know, give her what she wants from us and what we're ultimately really great at.